Hello there, Chaz here, and today I want to show you a game called Tales of Magiael, or Tome for short. This is a very awesome little uh, roguelike game. Uh, it's highly acclaimed, it won awards in 2010, 2011, 2012 I believe. And it's just updated to 1.3.0, there's like a new background thing here, it used to just have this. But now it has like these little demo things that let you see the gameplay, which is really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a new game. At the time of recording this, this game is actually on a daily sale, so I would definitely recommend actually you know, picking it up. Uh, you can download it for free on the Tales of Magiella website, but uh, buying it will give you some bonus stuff, which I'm gonna get into in a little bit. For now, I'm gonna be Chaz. Uh, on the Magiel the Age of Ascendancy campaign with Roguelike Permadeath. You can choose either Roguelike Permadeath, which is only one what yeah, only one life. I almost said only one life, oh my god. Um, Adventure, which gives you a number of lives. And then Exploration, which gives you infinite lives. Um, of course me being the roguelike fanatic that I am, I'm not well I'm, I wouldn't really consider myself a fanatic, but being the avid roguelike player that I am, I'm going to play it on roguelike difficulty. And I'm going to be a human, Karnak. Karnaks are humans from the northern parts of the Allied Kingdoms. Humans are an inherently very adaptable race, and as such they gain a talent category, uh, category point at birth. Uh, others only gain one at levels 10, 20, and 36. Just going to have some water, and... Normally I like to play the magic classes, but mages in this world are sort of, um, they're kind of endangered as it were. You'll learn more if you play the game and learn the lore and stuff. So for this one I'm going to be a warrior, and I'm going to be a bulwark. Bulwarks are basically tanks. Weapon and shield combat, uh, rarely leaving the cover of their many protective techniques. A good bulwark is able to withstand terrible attacks from all sides, protected by her shield, and when the time comes, lash out her foes with incredible strength. So strength and dexterity are important for for uh, bulwarks. So that's all that. Now I have a little surprise for you. When you buy this game, if you if you buy this game, which I recommend, because normally the game is like five quid, I think, um, but they've recently. As I said, it's on sale right now for 75% off, so it's more like a pound fifty. Really, really reasonable price. A pound seventy-five, I think, but you know. It's about the price of a couple of butteries for the local corner shop, as it were. Um Yeah, you can you know, if you buy the game, you can select a custom tile, which means you can be any of these characters, or even make your own custom tile, which I'm gonna show you right here. There's a few here that I've made. Um, which I was trying to figure out. Um, this is what this is the one that I'm still happy with, which is one that I doodled and then shrank down to 64 by 64. This is one that I recently just made, uh, based on the Chazmoth sprite that Stop Signal did for me for Cataclysm, which I then changed into a Chaz Serrier sprite and then I upscaled it. But I'm not entirely happy with it yet, so I'm gonna stow that one for now and just play it as the one I've done before. So that's me. I'm. Just a tiny little Sarrier uh, adventuring. So, let's play. Uh, there, you know, there's already a character with this name. Do you want to overwrite it? Of course. The only thing that that changes is if you die, it says that you died again. <laughs> Rather than just saying that you died. Right. Let's get into it. So, um, I can pick my stats. So, strength and dexterity are the important ones, as I said. So, there we go. And I can pick some class points. So I'm going to pick shield defense. That's shield wall, that's really good. And I think I'm going to pick rush as well. Now, I also have a generic point that I can spend on this tree of skills. The only thing I can really buy right now is vitality, which is handy. Because it helps you with healing when you're badly injured. I could unlock a category as well. But there's a there's a number here that I'm not entirely sure. Let's see, dirty fighting. Um, can I learn this? Ooh, I can. Dirty fighting. 
So I can, you know, dirty fighting. You hit your target doing 42 damage, trying to stun instead of damaging it. That's pretty cool. Backstab. Hmm. Actually, I think I'll take the category point right now, because I want to take battle tactics. Uh, greater weapon focus, step up, bleeding edge, true grit. Um, yeah, battle tactics would be useful, but I can't learn it right now, because I can only learn it at level 10. Um, although I guess since I have the bonus, I don't know. I'm going to hold on to it for now, and then I can learn it later if I want. Let me just, uh, there we go. Do I accept changes? Yes. Welcome, Chaz. You are a native of the northern region of the Allied Kingdoms, a peaceful land that both humans and halflings call home. You hail from the small town called Dearth. Humans are the most common race of the land, and you are one of them. Ahem, uh -huh. no I'm not. <laughs> In an attempt to prove your worth, you have decided to venture into the old and wild places of the world. Sorry, into the old and wild places of the world, looking for ancient treasures and glory. You have come to a land called the Dearth Fields on the western border of the Thalorin Forest in search of the Trollmire. It is an old forest infested with trolls and all kinds of wild animals. To the west lies another dangerous place, the old ruins of Corkpool. The, you, uh, you heard the caves below it were infested by vermin and undead. After days of travel, you have found the forest and entered it. What will you find there? Okay, so, um... Ah, I see. Okay, so I've... Because I had the window at a bigger size, I've got to sort of rearrange this stuff. Let's see. Reset interface positions. There we go, that's better. Okay. Now, as you can see here, there's actually like a little chat window, which is really cool. This game actually has an active IRC that you can chat with, and you can see when other people um, have died. Stuff like that. <laughs> so, you get all the interesting stuff. Okay, uh, let's see. There's a stone troll. Let's just fight him. Despite the fact that I'm wearing a robe and a staff, you know, wielding a staff, I am still a tanky bulwark. So I'm gonna do shield wall. Uh, shield wall, um, enter a protective battle stance, increasing defense by 12 and armor by 16 at the cost of negative 20% physical damage. So. Um, by do yeah by using shield wall I do less damage but I also take less damage which is the important part. As you can see, I'm basically kicking this guy's ass. There we go. Ooh, I got an acidic iron mace. Nice. Okay. I'll probably try out the chat real quick. Yeah. So you see, I can actually just chat on a number of uh, things here. Linkara is playing apparently. What? There's a number of people here playing. Interesting. Uh, but yeah. I'll just say hello, chat. They're all on YouTube. <laughs> okay, blurring rough leather belt of transcendence. Wow. Right. So let's just explore through this first area and see if I survive it. Uh, if I do, that'll be the episode. If I don't, then that'll be the episode. <laughs> this door seems to have been sealed off. You think you can open it? Sure, I'll open it. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Oops. Hi. Okay. It'd probably help if I could actually see how much health he's got left. There we go. Just myrtleize you and heal up. Hell yeah, I'm not doing too bad. Of course, I did play the tank, so... Oh, right, there's something in there. Let's see. Ooh, a phase door rune of the sneak. Interesting. So there are these things called... Um, yeah, like uh, phase door runes. Or, well, different runes, basically. And I can use these, I can inscribe them on my body, basically. So... Let's see, can I... Okay, I can move this to my normal inventory. That's right, I have played this game a little bit, so I have some items that... You know, this is basically my transmogrification chest. Everything that I carry here uh, doesn't encumber me. Uh, but if I leave the area, um, then I can sell everything for spare gold. But I want to move this to my normal inventory. 
and I'm going to use it. There we go. So now I have a new infused ability, which is Phase Door. Which, um, if I do this, now I can actually, yeah, I can, like, teleport. Granted, it's teleporting at random, and I probably get, like, teleport sickness or something from it. Also, Rune Saturation. The more you use runes, uh, the longer they will take to recharge. This only lasts a small amount of time. It's just basically so you don't go, like, stacking runes like crazy. Or you can, but it takes longer to cool down. Oh god, bees. Bees! Oh, I killed all of them. <laughs> just kill all of the bees. Ooh. Tattered paper scrap from Trollmire. You found a tattered page scrap. Perhaps this is part of a diary entry. There's a gorgeous glade, but I could swear that looked like part of a human femur. Saw an absolutely gigantic troll, but I fortunately threw him off my scent. Cool. How do I... Oh, you're right, I'll just click off of that. Pouch of iron shots. So I'm just, like, fighting stuff, trying to get an XP, trying to level up. This is your standard RPG kind of stuff, but it is in the randomized roguelike style, which is nice. I've I've seen a lot of praise for this game, and I've actually really enjoyed playing it myself, especially with the custom sprites. I hope I can actually get like a decent custom sprite with chance there. I might make a custom race even, because this game is very moddable. You know, it's very very moddable. Okay, let's just kill that and kill you. Just kill everything. Just murder everything in the level. Oop, level change. Way to the next level. Okay, so this is the transmogrify window. When I close the inventory window, all items in the chest will be transmogrified. That gives me some gold. Um, there's really nothing here that I could use. I mean, maybe the... Maybe the acidic iron mace. Let's see. Yeah, the that would be, that'd be better to wield, I think. I'm gonna wield it. Right. And then I get some gold. A small amount of gold, but... Uh, Mayura, the Lost Sun Paladin. Please help me. I'm afraid I lost myself in this place. I know there's a recall portal left around here by a friend, but I've fought too many battles, and I fear I will not make it. Would you help me? Lead on. I will protect you. So this is basically your standard escort mission. Don't go running off. I swear to God, these people. Uh, and there we go. The paladin ran off and got herself killed, and now I'm completely surrounded. Um, let's see. Uh, I could rush. I'm gonna. I'm gonna rush uh, over here. Oh, did I not? Ow. Okay, I guess I can't. But oh, I'm off balance. I can phase Dorotho. Haha! <laughs> and then I can rush. I'll rush a slime. Boom! So this is a very tactical game, actually. And I quite like it. You just have to try and make sure you don't get surrounded, really. Just manipulate where you are in relation to the enemy. And you should make it just fine. Even if the people you're trying to escort don't. Oh! Another attached paper scrap. Ack again, but he's just a stupid old troll. It'll be easy n to not let him get wind of me. In the found, you know, definitely found his treasure stash further on, but I had to turn back. If you get this, help. I'm sorry. It's too late for you, my friend. Ooh, level up. Let's see, can I... What do I level up? Alright, you can even see an online URL for your characters and stuff. Here's my very... Not great little sprite. <laughs> um, ah, here we go. This is where I can level up. And now I can improve my stats. So I'll add one to each of my physical stats. I also have a generic point that I can use, but I can't really use it for anything right now. And a class point, which I'm going to put towards... Hmm. Quick recovery might be handy. But I think I want, um, let's see, shield defense is always good. Shield wall is very, very nice. 
So there we go. Heaven, yeah. You can just like save your points and carry them over. Really, it's no big deal. Let me just disable shield wall for a little bit and think about where I'm going. There's a mace down here. Hateful iron mace. Nice. I still haven't quite learned about the like the elemental attributes in this game. But I'll figure that out eventually. Bees! Kill. <laughs> okay, let's get back into tank mode. Tank mode is the mode where I'm completely invincible. At least I like to think I am. I'm probably not. Oh god, there's worms everywhere. Yeah, I'm pretty damn invincible, actually. <laughs> Oop. I smash you. Fuck yeah, nothing can touch me. Next level. Uh, sure, I'll just, uh... <laughs> yeah, just generate the next level. White jellies. Just smushing slimes all over the place. So this tutorial area is fairly easy to get through once you know what you're doing. And if you're playing a bulwark, it's quite handy as well. Iron gauntlets, yep. Let's see. There we go. Just kicking ass, taking names. Adventuring for the good of me, really. I'm sorry, I don't really have much to say because I'm just like killing stuff, killing slimes. Uh oh, who's this guy? Oh, this is Prox the Mighty. This is the boss who I've just accidentally rushed into. Whoops. Oh jeez. Okay, let's just move my mouse out of the way. And let's see here. Shield pummel. There we go. Stunned him. Ow. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna rush right the fuck back at you. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Fizz over. Away. Fizz over. Away. Oh Jesus. see. Um, I have these different infusions here. Uh, infusion regeneration is very nice. I'll use that real quick. Ow. Come on. Come on. Oh, jeez. Hurting pretty bad again. Teleport. Regenerate. There we go. Quest of Trolls and Damp Caves updated. How about that? Let me just kill the surrounding enemies here. Laura found. Silk current. This deep blue robe flows in ripples as if pushed by an invisible tide. Ooh. Uh, summertide file. Uh, a small crystal file that captured sunlight during the summertide. Found a rod of recall. You can, use, uh, you can use it quickly to get out of your current zone and return to the world map. Okay, that's the rod of recall. Hidden treasure. The way to the treasure is to the east, but beware, death probably awaits there. Uh, this is a slightly bloodstained tattered paper scrap, actually. <laughs> um, you find a tattered page scrap. Perhaps this is part of a diary entry. Writing this in the tree, and he's at the bottom of it, waiting. His club is the size of a tall dwarf. Don't think I'm going to make it. Alongside the note is part of a plan of the region. So, um... I'm only 20 minutes in, this is going to be a fairly big video file size wise, but um, I can deal. So I'm going to see if I can actually get to the secret area. I'm, probably, I'm going to be entertained reading the chat later. Seeing as somebody called Rex has just spoken in the wrong chat. Right, let's see. So I know there's a, an entry to the secret area somewhere around here. Like further to the east. All these trees in the way, though. Maybe I went the wrong way. Maybe I didn't. I'll find out. Yeah, I went the wrong way. 
But I can kill stuff and get more experiences. Life choices. <laughs> uh, I can never tell how to navigate these freaking trees. Ah, here we go. Here's a hidden exit. Way to the hidden troll miner. Danger. This way leads to the lair of mighty troll. Traces of blood are everywhere. Are you sure? Yes. <clears throat> okay. I definitely want the silk current, I think. I don't know. I'll move it to my normal inventory anyway. Same with the summertide file. <clears throat> Everything else can stay where it is. Actually. Let's see. Oh, I don't have enough strength for the cleansing iron plate armor, but I might have. If I move that to my inventory. Along with these gauntlets. Can I wear these? Yes, I can. Right. Because um, I have some points to spend. <clears throat> there we go. Enough strength and dexterity and a couple of points there. Now I have some points to spend as well in these skills. Because I leveled way the hell up when I killed that big troll. Uh, let's see. Repulsion. Let all your foes pile up on your shield, then put all your strength in one mighty thrust and repel them all the way three grids. They'll also be dazed for five turns. That's quite nice. And another point in here. Actually, I can fully level up shield wall. I'm going to do that. Hell yeah. And now I can learn some generic talents. So I'm going to pick... Um... Combat accuracy. And I think that's about all I can pick right now. I can pick another vitality point. Dagger mastery. I'm not really going to be using daggers all that much. I think I could spend um, generic points over here as well. Oh, no. I don't have any class talent points left. Oh, well. Uh, let me just... Yeah, there we go. Accept changes. I'm going to get ready to kick ass or get my ass kicked. I'm kicking ass. I'm a motherfucking bulwark. <clears throat> this rock is loose, you think you can move it away? Yep. Okay, there's a big fella over there. That's a warg. A, a warg. So basically, if I just like, um, you know, bottleneck them over here, I should be fine. Come on. Come on. There we go. Level up. Level up to six. Work feels pain again. <laughs> okay, there we go. Bottleneck them again. Fucking kick their ass. Uh, Laura found Quasit's skull. Some enterprising adventurer seems to have noticed the skin of Quasit's is actually tougher than most metals, and fashioned this helm from one. Shame about the smell. <laughs> Gross. Right, extra points to spend. Our talent point, vitality, our class point. Um, let's see what would be good here. I guess I can add more to my repulsion. Yep. Okay, I think there's still monsters maybe lurking about somewhere here. Yep. Let's just bottleneck them again. Bam. And now the spoils of this place are mine. Gems of all sorts. And money. I don't know if the gems are very valuable. Um, they are if you're an alchemist. Because alchemists like break up gems and stuff to use. And I got ametrine. Hell yeah. I basically just got all the loot. Okay. Um, that's a very good summary of the game then. That's the very first area that I picked. Um... <laughs> Or that's the very first area that put, that you'd probably play by default. I would definitely recommend playing the Bulwark as a starting class. Um, I definitely also recommend picking up this game in general, even if you don't pay for it. Um, you can just like try it out for free from the Tales of Magi L website, and then if you like it, you can throw some money their way and get some different, you know, get some little bonuses and stuff, like the ability to use custom tiles, like I did in this video. So be sure to give that a look, especially because it's on sale on Steam right now. I think I already mentioned that, but you know. For now, I think I'm going to use this Rod of Recall to escape this place, and I shall see you all later. Bye-bye.